Sweep just does so much damage. Six. That's great. As I do believe, 
28 is level I actually get a brick moon. Which is much, 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 much cooler. And, alright, so, let's see. Now the cave is up ahead, so that's good. But we need cut to get that HM or TM. So we are just going to grab Roselia, because I'm not going to waste space here. Of course I'm not. Um, question is, who do we bring? Or switch it out for it, not that it doesn't matter. Both Cubone and Ripley would look into them up really, really good soon. And I don't think I can catch a Pokemon in that cave. See, I actually didn't think I was very hard to catch a Pokemon. I actually have a lot of Pokemon right now, but yeah, relax, Big Fat. Only has a knockoff as offensive moves, so that's kind of rather impressive, or you know, not as impressive, but yeah, it's a very young one. Tuber's nightmare, I was gonna say. But uh, there are a few rules here with the force likes of Boba Fett. Um, I don't gonna count those spells if I face a Boba Fett and he just annihilates me. I'm not gonna do that. But um, or even I'm trying to do, like, I'm gonna do the best of my ability to ensure that I don't lose anything against it. Down to it, at least have the option to uh, 
Ghost is so much aggressive. Ghost is so goddamn aggressive. Tja, du, jag, jag är just nu på jobbet, så då är det inte alltså, jätteviktigt, så får du ringa upp någon annan då. Jag jobbar fram till fyra i många fall. Idag är jag kvar lite längre på jobbet, men imorgon lär jag sluta vid fyra. Ja, absolut. Då har det gått, vet du. Ja. Hej. I forgot about the microphone. Okay, I hope, I really hope you guys uh, heard me somewhat anyway. I'm gonna have to check that out myself afterwards. Alright, so um, this cave. The first encounter is the Monaghan Catch. I just. Oh, it's a horde. Alright. After the horde, then. <laughs> Oh, th this is demonizing though. Run away! Run away, run away, run away. Alright, um, let's see. Here we go. Our first Pokemon in this area is... Oh, Mr. Mime? At level 22, alright. I don't know how rare these are, if they even are rare, but this is... This is cool. This I could get down with. Okay, that did. A lot of damage, actually. Let's try Gust. Like this, buddy. Kind of forget how fragile these guys really are. I should probably minimize... Now he outspeeds me, alright. Um, just in case off, basically. I don't think this one can you know, hurt me, but... If that's the case, then at least I have the option to... I mean, I minimize, buddy. Why... Why would you still land that hit? So anyway, minimize to 9. And I know exactly what to name this guy, actually. Gonna name him Jedi. Or Jedi Cardit. Seeing that he's actually somewhat famous with Mr. Mime, I'm gonna feel that's the least I could do. If that is, of course, catchable. Gonna go for Encore. That's fine by me. Alright, let's try this one more time. Because I don't really want to hurt him anymore. I don't want to, like, put the damage up with any even further, but it looks like I have to. That's too bad. Really don't want to... It's still Gust. Right? What could possibly go wrong? Come on. Come on, buddy. Get in there. I want my Mr. Mime. Hey, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. I'm just gonna call him Jedi. I do believe that's the easier word. Hey, level 27. I do believe I learned Hicks. Yay. 
I remember correctly. So away with Dominus Wind. Because let's face it, I kinda want PP. And yeah, we're gonna Mr. Mime. Now I really have to take into consideration if he's worth having. I kinda think he is. Psychic Fairy is really good for the game. But I still need Dazzling Gleam because I don't think this guy learns anything naturally. As, of, as long as fair moves goes. Oh, look at that. He's like, ah! <laughs> I saw you in the mirror! <laughs> Let's battle, basically. Uh, Linoon. Don't tell me you know Shadow Claw. Don't tell me you know Shadow Claw. That's all I can say. No sad attack. Well. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, that, that's just as bad. Gonna go for a second here. Older Sleuth, right, so you can hit with normal attacking moves now. That works for me, as I, I'll go for Focus Energy in case you're gonna spam me with sad attacks. He still likes lands them. He still lands them. Alright, let's hope I get some crit headbutt. And, and hits me with... Wow, look at that! Ay... Ay, ay, ay. Alright. Um, so he gets what he wanted, so I'm gonna get out. I was at plus six. And he still landed hit with he the freaking headbutt. And he has only headbutt as his attacking move. Alright. I really need a rock type here. I kinda feel it. Karate shop, please do enough here. Uh, yeah, that's definitely enough. How? How did Ali Noon become so strong? Now look, I missed the first Karate Shop! And I have no reason for it when I have Early Ace, I don't really know what I'm trying to do here, but alright. Goodbye, buddy. Get the fuck out. That's... That's really, 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 really frustrating. You know, one can't expect, you know, when you use... Um, <laughs> when you use a move such as Minimize, that uh, hopefully, you know, things can't hurt you. You know, I mean, that's the main idea, right? So, kind of scary when that kind of knocks back on you. Oh, a revive, another one to sell. Oh, I should say that, by the way. Uh, I sold any, like, reviving Pokemon, or Pokemon, reviving item I had. Um, Solosis. Oh. Now this is a mod I would rather catch than Mr. Mime, actually. Because this guy can be extremely dangerous. This is not one of those times. <laughs> that gave me nothing, Speedo. Uh, yeah, I was trying to say is that I sold any item there because, well, I needed it. I needed the money. Oh, look at that! It's a blue bag! Whoop, whoop. I do believe you have a chance of getting Noivern here too. Oh, look at that! Look at Drift Bloom, like, learns Hex and now is like a real imminent danger. Not relying on, you know, that mo masterful... What do you call it? Masterful... Gusts. Yeah, that was kind of hard for me to say. Even remember. Oh, Shingling. Should probably run, actually. It's kind of a waste of PP here, anyway. And like I said there, if I face a Wobbuffet, I'm really looking forward to, hopefully, really, to have a chance of minimizing against it. Let's see. So she has throw. Which I'm not sure can hurt me. And uh, even if I'm armed, I'm still going to... Oh, yeah, she can't hurt me. That's for sure. Go into Halucha. That's annoying. And a bit scary. Because this thing knows their lace, which means that my minimizing are... Kind of a waste. As it goes rock too. Oh my god! Oh my god, alright. Dude! That is not okay. That is not okay at all. Fucking beast. Okay. Okay. 
Regroup. Female Xenon, let's do this. I mean, early shouldn't hurt all that much, really. It did some damage. But I'm, I'm in no imminent danger, at least. And then I have to have like a plan B for throw, basically, because... Oh, no. It actually lived. Um, because I can't switch in Drift Limb anymore, because I can't guarantee whether or not it can hurt me or not. So, yeah. I guess I have to figure out things as I go, basically. Ah, <sighs> oh, damn, it still kinda hurts. Eventually, like, it still comes and comes, like, closer and closer to a finish off, basically. Yay, 28! I mean, how extreme would that have been if I lost Rhythm there? Didn't expect Rock Throw whatsoever. Alright, gonna bring Canapes here, and it's only because it's the only one that I know that at least they reduce damage from uh, from you know, Revenge and Valor Throw and whatnot. And of course, Rocky Helmet. Yeah, deal with it, buddy, as you will be seated! Hey! Hey! Alright, Bulldoze. Now, that's a move I really want. I do believe a pleasure of my mom can learn it. And I really need a ground type move, that's so helpful. Gonna keep bulldozing. And of course it wasn't faster before, but this time it actually is faster. We land a sleep powder and there's nothing to it. This is, this is some scary stuff right here. I was supposed to, you know, win this game easily. Let's see. I got like... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, you know the scene in Star Wars when uh, he comes to Ben, or um, his uncle, not Ben, and, and you know the, the place is all burnt down. Basically, you know everybody died, um, and it is uh, it, it was a capture of Luke coming back and like, Uncle, don't use Samsung Seven. It will. Oh no. <laughs> but I never heard about these explosions that uh, Samsung Seven has been causing. I haven't heard about that one bit, actually. I feel kind of stupid that I missed out on that. Oh, look at this. This beauty is gonna become more beautiful. I've been waiting, buddy. I've been waiting for this. You. You are my number one. It's a freaking drift loom. I mean, what else can one ask for? I know this Pokemon was rather big in Generation 4, but I never played Generation 4. So getting Drift Limb is so cool. I actually really like this particular little Pokemon. I love the design. And um, I just you don't see it. You don't see it every day. But look at that. It can actually be physical too. Hmm, huh, interesting. So you probably have that in mind actually. Because Gust is getting, you know, more and more unimpressive as we go. Should see whether or not it has broadened its uh, move pool of Osset evolves. Osset, as it's evolved. Osset. Oh, it gets cut. Cut the return. Alright, so that's not gonna work. Though I do believe this guy gets fly. Kinda hope it does. So right now I have um, Xenon first here. Oh, Rug and Rolla. I, sh I was supposed to have Xenon first. I probably forgot about that. Look at that. Such a massive HP base. 
Oh, it's too bad you don't get uh, assault vest in this game. Um, in the in the main game, I'm surprised though. Because with that HP base, it's actually somewhat viable with assault vest. Though people kind of want to use you know, other stuff, such as of course um, using unburden with weakness quality, which you know I get that. Right, doo doo. Uproar. Look at that, that actually did a lot of damage, even though I know doo doo is not really that impressive because of the special attack. But then again, so is in Cubone because of the special defense, so it's kind of, kind of fair. Hell your tile, alright, bring it on, buddy. What can you do? Razor Wind. I can miss the bone rank, though, you know. I might laugh at it, but like inside, I'm like scared as hell whether or not I'll land that hit. Yay! Level 28, that means we have a Marowak on our hands. As the Gramble is gonna hit the field. We didn't simulate, of course. But Gramble still can't do too much to us. Actually, it can! Like, of course, of course we have freaking Sham of all the things. How much does Bone Rung do now? Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's not gonna work now, is it? Uh, all right, Ivysaur, I guess I guess you're back on. Ah, oh, that's that's really bad. Very unimpressive. Very unimpressive. All right, well, you know I'm ready. Venom Shot should kill it. Mostly because Granville Special Defense is very, very unimpressive. Yeah, there we go. Just another day as the post office. I don't know what that means. Anyway! Marowak! This episode has much, much more fun stuff in it. Gonna enjoy making this thumbnail. We've got Machoke. And we've got the Evolutions. We got Mr. Mime. But yeah, Marowak is the one that matters. You look. You look so, so beautiful, buddy. And with Thick Club, this guy just might just be the best thing I got. Just gonna check out his attack. Yeah, it's, it's cool. So now I kind of need to level up everything else, basically. Um, I think the easiest one to level up from here now, because I don't want to use Scott Donut. Because there are a lot of um, Rock-type Pokémon here, and of course, Fighting Pokémons. That could be Wild Encounters, and that's just no good for me. So, uh, I'm going to use Frogadier as the lead here instead. Ah, look at that, Rock and Roll. I'm actually going to flee from this. I don't know whether or not this guy learns um, uh, self-destruct or explosion, but I'm not the one to uh, take a gamble on that. I am not. Alright, let's say Moonstone. Hmm. That could be interesting. I mean, you do catch Nidorina and Nidorino, like, outside of this place. Yeah, because I did, like, my previous Nuzlocke I did about this game, I actually caught a Nidorina back then. And that was really cool, uh, mostly because Nidorina is so, um, well, it's underwhelming, but Nidoqueen is pretty much OP at this early in the game. Gotta go for Encore, yeah, that's okay for the Frogadier. I wonder if Frogadier learns any kind of dark, dark moves, I mean, it's a late Evo I guess. Or is it level 32, or is it... I think it's 36, but I hope it's level 32. A bit unsure there. I really want a Greninja. Like I said, I haven't used uh, Greninja at all in uh, in this game either. That's why I chose it from the start, basically. Because it's one of those mods that I... I wouldn't say missed out on. I do believe that's the wrong word, but I avoided it. Then it got big. And I avoided it even more. And then I got banned, which means I can use it. 
So that's kind of the evolution of Greninjas. I used it, I do believe, two or three times in Wi-Fi battle. Never really liked it. Uh, too fragile for me in contrast to the way I want to play the game. And uh, that's basically the whole story when it comes to Greninja. So I kind of feel more of that now that you know I'm missing out on it. It's, it's kind of the same story that goes with Talon Flame actually. Uh, never liked Talon Flame, therefore I didn't use it. But it's still one of those mods that are to this day super super viable in the meta. Uh, has been considered not broken due to uh, well, its attack is not really that overpowered. It's just a limited, limited move pool, but where it, what it does, it does really well. Let's see, Nidorina, probably level 28, I do assume that this guy kinda... Well, that goes for all of them. Actually, 26. Okay, I am I'm in the clear. So, it looks like those extra levels that I actually fixed does help me out a lot here. And that was the po whole point anyway, because I felt I was really underleveled. And I was not feeling that I was going to lose any Pokemons just yet. Or actually, it was, I actually didn't mind this place, was just mainly that Sigalith and Machoke that I remember so well uh, ruining my Nutclock before. But I'm still going to have plenty of those places as I go, but hopefully they are not uh, coming too soon. That's what I hope, at least. Uh, I'm just going to check out Greninja. When do you evolve, buddy? Is it 32? Greninja... Mm -hmm. Level 36, alright. And I think it's the same thing then with Ivysaur, if that's the case. No, that's level 32 for some reason. Alright, Frogadier is a long way ahead of him. Oops. You could face Pharisee too, right? Yeah, if that's the case, then that's not happening, obviously. Uh, but we still have yet to face a Wobbuffet, so that's... That's okay. Don't want to face a Wobbuffet. Oh, not you. Hey, Sumi Kuk. Ah, okay. You wanted to be nice. I was gonna scare that you wanted something else, buddy. Alright, you probably go this way then. I should not. Black belts. Okay. Could probably give that item to Halucha for the time being. Not that boosting fighting moves is gonna help it all that much, but. No, until I get acrobatics, it can kind of care nicely. Let's see. Oh shit! Goes the counter. Yeah, looks about right. I gotta do my best to not lose Frogadier. <laughs> it's a gamble, it really is a gamble. Safeguard, right? That was for us. I think Quick Attack is like my best bet. It does the least amount of damage. Here comes the counter. Yeah, so we can pull one of a few of these before we actually have to worry about it. Oh, that was a crit. Ah, stop! Like I said, I, I'm trying to play the game right. 
Right, water pool should kill you from this range, I'm sure. Die, buddy. Like I said, that guy is such a Nuzlocke killer. Such a Nuzlocke killer. No more. Yeah, Slosses. Great. Jordan! Yeah, that's a battle I won't really take on. I think I'm actually going to bring Ivysaur here. Because at least he has a chance of leech seeding, which is going to be way, way more important than trying to quick attack him. Um, Alright, Shingling. Who knew that Ivysaur was going to be such a deal breaker for me too? It's probably one of the few mods here that had stood the test of time when it came to its defensive capabilities. Oh wait. Oh, it's a sock. <laughs> that is not good. That is not good one bit. Retaliate, alright. Okay. I mean this guy is he's, this guy is serious. This is a real Pokemon. This is the Pokemon that is Easily responsible for everything, every agony everybody has ever felt in some time. Oh. That was a crit, alright? I was like, what the hell just happened? I hate you. I hate you so much, Sok. that we can take this on properly. It, it's close to dead though, so I am in a good spot, but it's just... worst kind of situation. Go for retaliate again. I was kinda hoping you would keep sleeping, because I kinda need HP from you. But alright, I'll take it. Get out of here, Sork. Nobody wants you. Despair. <laughs> was that all we got from him, right? Alright, Psychic Guy. Probably should have used Ivysaur for you. Shimenko. Alright, so that's a step up. Canapes, let's do this. Or, in your case, let's, let, let's not. I'm gonna bring Scott Donut. Which is level 26. Or is it 25? 25 is it. So. Hoping confusion doesn't do all that much. I did okay damage. But we have Shadow Claw. I do believe we can 2 it kill this guy. As he goes for an uproar. That should have been weaker. But it wasn't. What is this? Get out, Shemenko. Get out. Scott Donut! That's... This guy is scared though. Scott Donut! He's the motherfucking ferret! Shaped like a donut! Mega Punch! Okay, that was okay. That did actually not as much as I was kind of expecting. Oh, Scout Donut just nope him. He just noped him. Back off, guy. Back off. For all the shit I'm giving Scout Donut, I have to say, 
Sometimes he works. You know, he's naughty and whatnot in nature, which means that I, I've kind of fear using him. Because I'm pretty sure he'll die to everything, but he does pack a punch behind him. So he's not a bad mon. He's just, I, I kind of don't trust him in all situations, which is kind of bad. It has mostly to do with all the fire types I'm kind of facing here and out, which is just super, super tough for me of actually dealing with properly, of course. So, right, another Nidorino, or rather, almost Nidorina. But we can lead seed you? Nope, we cannot, as he poison stings me and do nothing. Because it's a poison sting, so. How about. No! Alright. The thing is, I'm only dual stab, and that means one thing. That is, I can't hurt him, but I am in the same boat where he can't hurt me either. So I'm just going to check out how much a Venator could possibly do. It did okay. It did okay damage. We're gonna check out Razor Leaf too. Follow that. I do believe they are in the same amount of strength. But Ivysaur is more famous for its special attack than its physical attack. As we miss the Razor Leaf, of course we do. Scott Donut. Can't help. Like I have this melody in my head once I send off fur. Like the day I lose fur is the day I will be very, very sad. Oh, horn attack. Oh, he's serious. Got the rock helmet damage on that. Ah, there we go. Nice. He should have grabbed that moonstone I got. It wouldn't suck so hard. <sighs> so yeah, the blazing of my Pokemon is very, very obvious, and it's it's only because of uh, isn't this something here? I kind of thought it was all right. Um, it's very much a sign for Wobbuffet, and everything else I guess escape from anyway. It's the Ivysaur. It's the Ivy! None shall pass. What? None shall pass. Oh, that's a double battle. That's a double battle. I can see it's all the way through here. Let's see. Are we fine? Soon. Soon we're fine. I'm actually going to bring this female scene on here. Because Diggis looks like the people who need to get their butt checked. And I'm gonna help them kick it. You and Amy! Vespi Queen and Cup. Why? Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to me? I mean... I was or can't do anything. Alright? That's... That's so unfair. At least I can rock to the Vespi Queen without really having to worry about it too much, but... I mean, my eyes were scared from this matchup anyway. Goes for Bug Bite. That shouldn't do too much. As we go for Rock Tomb, and that's gonna kill the Vespi Queen because we are a whack, buddy! Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not like I had a chance for anyway. This. This is the team we always wanted. Look at that! Gust killing! Gust killing something! This is, this is serious. You don't mess around with Gust. I kind of feel it's sad that Gust is really the only thing I got here. Oh, the telephone's ringing. Hold on, guys. Alright, that's the second call today, sorry about that. That's the best thing when you record things, you kinda have to 
doing it as po as much live as possible and kind of hope that uh, hopefully things aren't get screwy. Sometimes it works, just time it happens. Yay, cannabis! They're actually rather close to leveling up now, isn't it? Or not leveling up. The actually evolving to Venusaur. Wait. Let's anoint him here! It's Iron! Another thing to sell, that's great. Alright, and you look like a psychic guy, so I am yet again bringing up poison Pokemon here, which is... Which is not gonna like this. Actually, Absol! I think we're okay. We're not. But, you know, it's... It's still okay. I don't think Absol hurt too much. <laughs> I wanted to lead seed you. Why would you? Why? Come on, buddy. Okay. I see you. I see you. Of course we miss. Of course we miss. After one double theme, of course we miss. Goes for bites. It's not okay. It's not okay. Like, it does so much. And so obviously did we, but still. Goes for bite again, I swear. Oh my god, it hurts. And we miss. Because why not? And we're gonna go to Luca Libre because I really, 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 really don't wanna try to fend off against a guy that does more damage than my Super Potion. Can I even like, try to recover from this? Let's see, bite here shouldn't do as much at least. That's a resisted hit. So finally something works, as we're gonna go for Nerlace, we're not gonna screw around with this guy one bit. So goodbye Absol, get out of my face, don't like you one bit. As I do believe Luca Libre level up from this, that is actually kinda cool. Yay! And goes for Pinsir, okay. I don't know what Pinsir could do. Outside of dying against me. He can harden though. <laughs> okay, sweet. Uh, so he's not gonna die next hit either. Oh, okay. It did. You know, kind of feel when I see somebody use harden, you know, that. Oh, okay. This is gonna be a longer battle. You're gonna get that meta port feeling just straight on at it. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep having Scout Donut here. I don't think I could possibly bring something else. Or I mean, not Scout Donut, I mean Ivysaur. Because Ivysaur can lead seed, and if both it comes, then I can lead seed. I don't remember whether or not Shadow Tag affected Flying Pokemon. I should just check that out. Let's see, Pokedex, Shadow Tag, let's see, the opponent cannot run nor switch while this Pokemon is in play, the opponent may still be switching, or may still switch by using Baton Pass. Alright, so that's the only way you're gonna get out of it, I see. That means that I actually have to use Ivysaur anyway. I don't like using Pokemon that are... Or I actually like using Ivysaur, but... I don't like having a Mon that is clearly stronger than the others. Level 30 is actually really strong. And uh, the other ones are... I do believe Furrets are level 25. So it's kind of obvious that some Mons are getting more screen time than others. I can't remember Shingling being so common here in... But alright, I'll take it. Then again, when I not slugged this last time, I did use Y. Earth Place. Okay, great. But that's not the reason we went here. It's because there's something here. Do you believe in HM down here? Freaking shinglings!
And I do believe we actually finished one of the rougher patches here in the game. Like, there aren't really too many tough spots left uh, that are, like, for a while at least. Actually, Jaro Ball. Um, I'm not sure that was such a good move. Let's see, it depends on which can learn it. Drift Blim, <laughs> alright, and that's the fastest one I got, so that's not helping. That's not helping. Let's see, and inside here we got... Really nothing? Oh yeah, and this is like Agronite is here, I do believe. Something like that. It might have been something else. But I do remember it being Agronite. But alright, you know, we got that item. I do kind of presume that, that that's the reason we went there in the first place. And I do believe this cave is soon to be done. Which is really cool. Um... This is, is like, like like I said there, this is one of the worst worst caves in the game because of Wobbuffet. And it really, really makes you play... You know, not slug, it makes you play really, really badly. Or you, you don't play bad, but you definitely are limiting your options because of this. Uh, Alright, Hiker Dunstan is gonna use Sand Oil. With Intimidate, of course. Would be no reason for not having that. Thank you for not having that. Do you believe Race Leaf could be a 2 kill at least? Okay, I'll take it. Goodbye, buddy. Next one is Diggersby. Same reason here. Diggersby could be possibly 2 at kill here. He still have a lot of HP, so it's gotta be able to take it. Take down. That's not pure power, at least. And a lot of residual damage. There we go. Say goodnight. And Dwabble. I'll do neutral to Dwabble. I'm not sure this is worth it. Eh, did okay. Faint attack didn't do all too much, and of course, Rocky Helmet. Because why not? I like Rocky Helmet. Like why that don't like. Okay, that almost killed you. Think I I kind of want to avoid using another super potion. So all I'm gonna do is bring Frog there. Uh, and if I face a Wobbuffet, then so be it, basically. We can still quick attack it to death. And that's a, that's a valid strategy. Against the most dangerous Pokemon. Actually, Scoot Donut could probably pull that off, actually. I do have Horn Claw on that. Let's see, and I do believe... Yeah, that's the cave over. So all I'm gonna do now is use Strength and push it there. And then we're gonna go to the Poké Center and wrap up the episode from there. And no more Pokémon face, that's great. It's finally a, a real city. And this is the city you get to learn about Mega Pokémon for real. Because it was fake before that. I don't know why we even said that. So I guess we're gonna go... Uh, I do have almost an hour, so roughly five minutes left. So we can go about and uh, just see if we can get some TMs. Just gonna sell these. Yay! And uh, we're gonna buy stuff from you. Super Potion is still like super viable for me, so that's that's great. Don't need antidote. Could take paralyzation heals. Awakenings. Okay, a few of those. Repel, yeah, may, why not, right? You never know. We're just gonna check out the homes here and see if they have something for me. Eviolite, now that's... That could be very, very helpful, actually. 
Uh, we're gonna put that on... Uh, we really don't have too many Pokemon that aren't on the wall, but do you believe at least we can give that to uh, Grotjan? For the time being. That is cool. Uh, so Frogadier is the Violet. I mean, my one may never know if I get a Pokemon that are worth using for a higher status, but just are impossible to get. Like, for example, if I would catch a Dratine or something like that, it would be very unlikely for me, of ca or pulling a Dragonite to the very late in the process, it would mean Violet would be super, super viable. Like I said, I don't remember like um, where everybody gave your items, so it's kind of good to just run into every house you see, uh, press A basically as fast as you can, just see if they give you something. Like a Violet. It is Sophie Bell. That's the bell that if you hit something, you're gonna get recovery. That's good. That's always a good thing. Butters! Hey! My cat is like <laughs> meowing outside the window. Okay. We're gonna have a battle. Is this. Don't tell me, no. I was just gonna tell about the Mega Evolution Guru. Alright. You're gonna let me go now. I guess it's there's gonna end the episode. In case something more just happened, I don't know how many pre-decisive uh, uh, events that actually launched before me. But thank you, of course, as always, so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We did survive that freaking... What is that? Cave? Kinda actually wanna check out what the name is on that cave. Just in case of... Uh, that I could forget it. The name is Reflection. Reflection Cave, alright. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, guys. And I see you! In the next episode, and I don't know what happens. We're gonna learn about Mega, we're gonna get a Lucario, which I'm not gonna use because Lucario is broken as shit. So, thank you for watching, guys, and I see you in the next episode. Until then, take care. <laughs>